पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंग विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंग उच्छल जल गीत रंग राष्ट्रपति श्री प्रणब कुमार मुखर्जी a very warm all our members and friends who have gathered here our members sir i can see bangladesh japan america china maybe i am missing some they have all come to greet you uh, mr governor uh, we are delighted that you are with us today on this very special occasion uh, you are always with us whenever we ji we... well as i as i address you as rashtrapati i have a sense of thrill um, you and i have seen india pre independence india when we did not have a rashtrapati but the president of the india national congress was called rashtrapati so pranab babu you are in the house of rashtrapati subhash chandra bose you are welcome here very much and of course after after the uh, provisional government of the india azad hind was formed outside india subhash chandra bose did become the head of state and the supreme commander of the indian national army so if we look at it from a, a historic point of view i can say that he is your first predecessor there are distinguished historians present here i can see i hope i am not wrong when i say this it was in so many ways now if we take that into account i must say that after many 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 years we have a rashtrapati from our part of the country that is bengal and we are very proud of it but i must say that bengal was never you know bengal never believed in narrow regionalism rabindranath thakur thakur you have apni hata mone korte parben rabindranath thakur mahajati sadane rabindranath tagore in mahajati sadan recited first the poem banglar bayu banglar jol punno ho khe bhagwan then he said তার সঙ্গে এই কথা যুক্ত হোক বাঙালির বাণী ভারতের বাণীকে সত্য করুক বাঙালির বাহু ভারতের বাহুকে বল দিক মিস্টার প্রেসিডেন্ট উই ডু হোপ দ্যাট থ্রু ইউ রবীন্দ্রনাথ ওয়ার্ডস উইল কাম ট্রু ফ্রেন্ড উইল মেক ইন্ডিয়া স্ট্রংয়ার অ্যান্ড বেঙ্গলস মেসেজ উইল এনথল দ্য মেসেজ অফ india we are all very proud of you and welcome you to this house thank you I now ask the president to please say a few words to us. Ashok. I have come here to pay my homage to the great son of India. As the president of the republic, I do consider that this is a place of pilgrimage to all of us. in my independent day speech i just referred to the 
from his presidential address as the president of Indian National Congress. As Krishna Ji has very correctly pointed out, till 1947, president of the Indian National Congress was described by all including the media persons, as Rashtrapati. Of course, there was a transition after country became independent. Then there was a short span between the adoption of new constitution and independence, two and a half years gap. In that period, perhaps two Congress presidents were described as Congress Shabhaputi, not as Rashtrapati. If I remember correctly, Pattavishi Taramaya, who became president in 1948. Interim president, not full-fledged president. Then in Nashik Congress, when Purushottam Dashtandon became Congress president in 1950, by that time, on 26 January 1950, we converted ourselves into republic and the president of the republic was in place. As the president of the republic, a number of newspapers wrote, made comments that Shubhas Chandra was the last Rashtrapati from Bengal and thereafter he was Rashtrapati in the capacity as president of Indian National Congress and thereafter another Bengali has become the Rashtrapati as per the constitution of India. It is needless to say to this distinguished gathering, the contribution of these great Kaurusas to India's freedom movement, to the liberation his grandson Shubhato's book, His Majesty's Opposition, when he, I received from the first copy, Krishnaji, I am grateful to you, you have given me another copy, because I, when I was fascinated by reading it, so that almost in two nights I completed that book, and thereafter I thought that I should share this book with someone, and I gave it to Shunyaji. So, my library will be reached by the copy which you are giving to me. The short point which I am trying to drive at, that what he said, as the President of International Congress in his presidential address, that we must abolish poverty. India must be free from the most abuse of human rights, that is poverty. And he also visualized that after getting freedom from the colonial rule, through its own innovative method, India can be the model for the liberated countries from colonial rule. All these are part of history, his contribution. Everybody knows that even the very fundamentals of our constitutions, some of the provisions, including directive principles, which are substantially based on the instructions which as Congress President, Shubhastra said to the Congress Premier in those days, in different provinces, Congress formed government after the 1935 Act in the general election of 1937 in a number of provinces to the Congress premiers. That was the phrase which was used. In those days, Chief Minister was not known. They were called as premier. That how they should conduct the administration within the limited power which they had. That has become the core of our directive principles which you have incorporated later on in our constitution. I have come here to pay my homage to this great son who continue to be the source of constant inspiration to the million upon million people 
who are working hard to ensure the socio-economic transformation to make India for which he dreamt, for which many of our leaders and freedom fighters dreamt, is to be taken to reality. And those who are working tirelessly, days in and days out, they will continue to be the constant source of inspiration. Nisaji will continue to be the constant source of inspiration to all of them. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.